we cannot really grasp the measure of this accident because we don't know whether we are the beginning, in the middle, or near the end of it. If it takes two, three months before the outflow of oil is capped, then the catastrophe is going to be gigantic. The first effect is uh, the animal that live just under the water surface, fish eggs, all kind of little animals, that will be wiped out. And if there is lots of mixing, there will be all bubbles in the water column, and that is deadly for the plankton. So you will have an effect on the plankton. The problem is the animal that eat that stuff can concentrate it. Now, with the larger animals that come to the surface for breathing, dolphins and stuff, they will be affected because the film is uninterrupted on the water surface. And the breathing hole or the nose nostrils will become coated, and that will be very bad for them. The fishery is going to be a huge loss, and the sport fishery is going to be also affected. If this stuff reach Western Florida and eventually the Keys, you're talking about the highest concentration of sport fishing in the world. Communities, fishers' communities will be strongly affected, and uh, the fisheries may not be reopened for months and perhaps here. I would use the opportunity of having to dole out compensation for lost job to have indeed uh, some area close to fishing. That would be a good thing. And especially the areas adjacent to parks on land and to coastal protected zone, the marine space adjacent to that, uh, I would close it. And I would establish a quilt of protected, unprotected, partly protected zones in the Gulf. We have depleted the ocean everywhere, including in the Gulf. There's not enough fish to go around. 